was the son of a pizza man. So my name is Carl Frank. I am the general manager at Peace Pizzeria. We specialize in New Haven style pizza um, and we are a, a brew pub as well. We don't distribute any of our beer. Um, that's why we're a brew pub as opposed to a brewery. Um, by definition, brew pubs don't distribute. And um, we are all about keeping things simple and making the best pizza that we can, the best beer we can, and providing a comfortable environment um, for people to come hang out in and enjoy it. That's really what we do. It's <laughs> Bill opened a piece in 2001, um, and it was, I mean, Bill's from New Haven and went to school there uh, and wanted to fill a void that he felt was in the Chicago pizza community. Um, and he happened to meet uh, Matt Brindelson, who at the time was at Goose Island, um, and Matt helped bring on Jonathan Cutler, who's our master brewer still today. Um, and Peace was kind of born out of that. It was just Bill wanting this really unique style of pizza that at the time didn't exist in Chicago. It is, in a way, closely related to something like New York style pizza. Um, we press all of our pizzas out by hand. The differences are going to be that um, it's baked at an incredibly hot temperature, um, well over 500 degrees and the edges are not mounted up with dough. So you don't get that like chewy, fluffy dough at the end of the pizza. Um, it gets char, that's good for us. We want that crunch. And then um, also traditionally you'll see like a tomato pie is what they call it. And it doesn't have mozzarella cheese. So mozzarella cheese on a New Haven pizza is a topping. Um, this is all modeled after Sally's Pizza in New Haven. Um, and uh, if you go to New Haven, they talk about the a pizza. It's closely related to Neapolitan pizza. And um, thin crust, like I said, we will do uh, the thin crust, press it out by hand, sauce, a little bit of oregano, um, some minced garlic, and then Parmesan cheese. That's all that goes on a, a plain pizza or a tomato pie, that we call it. Um, and then also out of that, we get the, the white pizza as well. Another, um, I think that was Pepe's that did the white clam pie originally, I believe. Um, so that's just olive oil, minced garlic on the dough, and then cheese. And it's, it's just that. <laughs> it's super, super simple. But, but really good. Probably our best sellers are like cheese, like a red pizza or a pepperoni. Um, the, the pizzas that we like to recommend and that are also very popular, but probably in terms of numbers are not necessarily the best seller, are like a white pie with clams and bacon or a white pie with um, tomatoes and basil is really great. Uh, and I always encourage people when they come in to try that because something like the white pizza or the tomato pie that is the authentic New Haven, you know, style pizza, and uh, I want I want people to know what that is. <laughs> Honey Butter was born out of a collaboration that we did in the winter months with um, Honey Butter Fried Chicken with Hot Dogs, um, Doug Stone from his hot dog stand, and then one other kind of rotating um, restaurant. And so the idea was to collaborate with local restaurants and have this sense of community with them and then the proceeds from the sales in those months would always um, in part go to Pilot Light Foundation which benefits children's culinary education. Um, so it was born out of that and honey butter and hot dogs were always two of the most popular items. We have people coming in year round asking, hey do you guys have honey butter pizza? Hey do you have honey butter pizza? And I mean Josh and Christine and honey butter are awesome people. They have an awesome restaurant. And just out of that sense of community and supporting local restaurants, um, it was kind of just thrown out and we said, yeah, like, let's make it a permanent thing. Let's make this something that can be good for both of us. Um, and so that's what happened. They came in, they designed this pizza um, with us in mind. So I think it works really, really well. You have the vinegar and the banana peppers that plays really well with the sweetness of the honey and the chicken. And I think it really came out well. It's really a, a, a great pizza. I guess my advice would be, especially if you don't have some awesome pizza oven, like just don't cut corners when you're talking about making your ingredients. Put your time into making your dough and 
you know, you could use a canned sauce if you want to, and you can do that if you want, but put the time into your ingredients. Make sure you have a high quality sauce or make the sauce yourself. And for me, that's the fun part, right? You get to you get to figure out how to tweak your dough and tweak your sauce and use different cheeses or whatever and, and get the best quality pizza that you can make in your oven. So I I would treat it like a science experiment and play around with things and you know tweak little variables and find the way to do it best for your oven. And the pizza is, by virtue of how busy we are, we make it everything every day. We're making dough every single day. We're making sauce every single day. So you get this wonderfully fresh product that um, has been refined over several years and is really, really top quality. Um, and you just get to come and be relaxed and enjoy great pizza and great beer. Was the son of a pizza man, yes he was.